cannot spend your life sitting on the outside of this system. And I said to her, let's just do a thinking exercise on this. So you look at the pros, you look at the cons, you look at the, you look at the facts. And from that point, we came to this whole idea. The idea that I had was that I would sell the album via my website before I recorded it. So basically ask people to buy something that's not there yet, but help me raise the money in the process. Setting up a website is in fact the easy part. It's what you do afterwards that makes all the difference. The question is, how do you get as many people as often as possible to visit your website? It's very much a case of, of strategizing uh, what is your message? How do you position yourself differently uh, from, from the rest of the pack? Web marketing specialist Fred Rode guided her online campaign. So we set up a website and a blog. Um, and then, you know, the third component, which is actually not web related, is that she needed to go out and, and sing. And, and I suppose just throw the, the website address out as, as often as possible. Flyers, posters, letting people know about the web address, getting other bloggers to write about the website, make sure that other people have links. And then joining lots of different communities, so making sure I was on MySpace and Facebook and other business communities, so that everywhere I was, everything was linking back to my website. And when I started, um, if you Googled Verity, I think I was on page 16. And within six weeks of starting to make sure that I was having links to my website, I was number three on page one. And those who bought into her web journey had a very real role to play in producing her album. Their name was listed on my website with what limited edition number they had bought. And they got to vote for which songs I recorded and really just joined me on the journey because you know, for most music lovers, we buy an album when it's in the stores, and we have no idea the journey that an artist has been on to create it, and the tears, and the joy, and, and what goes on in that process. Internet marketing guru Arthur Goldstock has been monitoring music trends for many years. I'm very excited to see someone taking the initiative in that way of using the internet as a medium, not only to uh, create the packaging of her album, but also to market it and to engage directly in almost a personal relationship with her fans. For Verity, the key to finding joy in the project has been in helping others. It was one thing to say, let's approach the music industry differently, but I thought if I'm going to ask people to support me, I don't think that should stop with me. I think it should be paid forward in some way so that their, their good nature and their good intentions are is having a, a wider impact. She set up the Live Your Dreams Foundation that enables other artists to produce demos. But while helping others, Verity faced some tough months without sales. From the high points of all those initial responses and everyone rushing in to nothing moving and nothing happening and then her feeling like she's made a complete fool of herself, she's put herself out there for the whole world to see and yeah, desperate lows. And she's been up and down a lot through the journey. It took three years online, but finally, it happened. Having sold 2,000 albums now in 25 countries, I've covered all my costs. So I've, I'm releasing an album that has no debt associated to it, and it's also contributed nearly 30,000 rand to charity. 2,000 CDs uh, before she's released it is extraordinary. Um, there aren't many artists in her genre, or even in the English-speaking genre in South Africa, that can say they've sold 2,000 uh, CDs. Peter Lacey, who has now produced Verity's album, says of the 17 local artists he has worked with, only two others have sold more than 2,000. She talks all the time about her journey, you know, this musical journey that she's gone through with her future owners. Well, my challenge to Verity is that she's only just starting that journey. Is what Verity has done unique? Verity isn't unique in what she's done. She's certainly a first in South Africa, but what sets Verity apart is the extent to which she engages with her site, with her audience, and the extent to which she drives the process herself. Is this the way to go in terms of marketing music? In South Africa, CD sales have held up quite well because we don't have a download environment. But artists that want to plug into the future that's beginning to arrive are going to have to embrace the internet. So, what now for this songbird? I think next for me is to share the story with South Africa and with the world 
because it just was an idea. It was an idea of how can I do something differently. But the lesson for me is because I took action, because I put out there and asked people for support, I have discovered how much is possible when you say, I can, I can do this, I can make this happen. And it's not been an easy journey necessarily, but it's been a very powerful journey. And that is determination. Uh, talking of which, what a history-making performance by the box at the House of Pain. I mean, that try of Ricky January's will be one of those sporting moments remembered in years to come. And, of course, quite an achievement for new coach Peter de Villiers. Before we sign off the result of our poll, should the RAF make payouts to foreigners? The because it just was an idea. It was an idea of how can I do something differently. But the lesson for me is because I took action, because I put out there and asked people for support, I have discovered how much is possible when you say, I can, I can do this, I can make this happen. And it's not been an easy journey necessarily, but it's been a very powerful journey. And that is determination. Uh, talking of which, what a history-making performance by the box at the House of Pain. I mean, that try of Ricky January's will be one of those sporting moments remembered in years to come. And, of course, quite an achievement for new coach Peter de Villiers. Before we sign off the result of our poll, should the RAF make payouts to foreigners? The R